Flippin' heck, it is like gale force winds and prickly, prickly rain out there, but that's not gonna stop us today. Oh no. I'm doing a little idea I had, and I have checked online to see if anyone else has done it before, and I don't think they have, so we're gonna be on to something here. But I'm gonna be putting the drive-throughs to the ultimate test. What I'm gonna be doing is seeing which drive-through is quickest, because I've sat in multiple drive-throughs in my lifetime, um, and some of them are so efficient, you get it within literally 30 seconds. You're like, how did you even, did you, did you read my mind? Did you know that I was coming to get myself a mozzarella, tomato, and basil panini? No? How did you do that so quick? Other times, you're like, it would have just been quicker to actually go home, get stuff from the supermarket, make it myself. And you never know what you're gonna get. So, pull up to the drive-thru, and as soon as they say, hello, can I take your order? I'm gonna start my timer, and then as soon as I get my food, I'm gonna stop it and see which drive-thru is the quickest. Unfortunately, there aren't super loads of drive-thrus in the UK it's really upsetting and there's not a starbucks drive through near me but i'm trying to think the fairest way to do this is go for a meal and a drink at each place so the first place we're going to go to is costa so let's go there now okay guys we are here at mcdonald's i'm just going to pull in i might like, technically should i actually start the timer when i join the queue but then that's not fair because the queues are all about supply and demand at the end of the day aren't they and mcdonald's actually has a big queue i have decided that i'm not going to go to costa first um but mainly that's because it was a one-way system and it meant i go to mcdonald's and then i go to costa so i don't know what to get in costa no i meant mcdonald's come on grace get get it right um i don't think there's anything i was thinking is there anything fun and new to try because i know there's new fun bits to try burger king what's well, so my hair's just really annoying me today it's really killing the vibe. How long do we think it's gonna take? I actually think I'm gonna get a Big Mac and keep that in the fridge for dad because he's really bizarre and doesn't actually mind heating up a Big Mac and having it. Because then I think I really want a panini from Costa, so that's gonna be me. Come on guys, let's get this rolling. Gosh, if I'd have started the timer for McDonald's when I joined the queue, that would not have been a good time. Come on, Mackie D's. Come on, sweetheart. I feel like McDonald's out of everywhere we're going is probably the most equipped for it i don't know why i just feel like they're the most efficient we're nearly there come on hi can i take your order hi can i have a large big mac meal with a coke please large big mac with a coke anything else no that's it thank you sorry that's it thank you thank you next window thank you the timer has started that took 16 seconds not bad not bad at all oh i feel like i'm gonna race i feel stressed i don't know like they didn't even know they're racing okay guys we are running at three minutes and we're just about to pay yeah that works yeah thank you this is really where push comes to shove here if they have our meal ready or not ready or not here i come hi thank you thanks have a good rest of your day stop the clock Okay, I stopped it. I stopped the clock, everybody. We did it. Okay, that whole thing took three minutes 42. And I've just tried some of the chips and they're really good. They're really nice and hot. Because sometimes in McDonald's, they can be like, not hot, not salty. And that ruins the whole vibe. We have the Big Mac. So I just want to check the quality. Big Mac's all good in here. Right, and now we can go to Costa and see how Costa do. I feel like Costa are going to be slower. I don't know why, I just have kind of a... A feeling, an intuition, you could say. Okay, there's not a queue. Ah, I've gone the flipping long way round. The person in front just cut through. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Why is there not pizza drive-throughs? I think that'd be really good. Four cars have just come in front of me because they took the long way round. You know, they're like, ah, oh, um, tortoises always win in the end. No, sometimes they don't. Okay, sometimes the tortoise doesn't win. I have a few chips whilst I wait. Yeah, I'm really excited for a mozzarella panini, actually. I think I want an apple juice. Wow, that's a bit rogue for me. Can I Hi, can I have a mozzarella tomato panini and a innocent apple juice, please? Anything else? No, that's it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That one took 14 seconds to process. That one's very efficient. But was that efficient because I was efficient or was that efficient because she was efficient? I don't know if you can see the, f oh, 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 it's go time. It's go time. Oh, I feel like we're gonna be here for a while. Let's buckle in our seatbelts, guys. Right, guys, we have got 30 seconds. Three minutes, 12 it is. 
and I'm about to move. Three minutes 22. I think McDonald's are gonna beat them. Right, they're second place now. McDonald's have beaten them. Hi. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Have a birthday. You too. Her skin was the most glorious skin I've ever seen, and I would have told her, but I just got really flustered in case you hadn't, couldn't see. Okay, the time was 4.20.94. So actually, Costa has lost by quite a bit. Let's see the quality of our food. So here we have a drink, a little apple juice, because apple juice is actually kind of, you know what? I don't think apple juice gets the airtime that it deserves. Cloudy. None of this concentrated nonsense. No, no, no. And then here we have our panini. Let's just tear into it. Okay. Are we seeing this? It's like all drizzled out of the side and crispy. <laughs> mm. I can confirm that that is so hot. Honestly, the tomato pesto and mozzarella panini is like one of my all time favorite things to eat. It's comforting to the next level. Mmm. There's just nothing like it. To be honest, for this to be fair, I should probably do different McDonald's and different Burger Kings getting an average if we were taking this very seriously. Like I'm tempted to go to another McDonald's and see how long they take. Because it's all about different things, isn't it? But let's go to Burger King. Burger King, in my experience, is very slow. So let's see. Right, we are pulling up to Burger King. And there is a queue. I've never seen a queue at this Burger King. I don't know where I'm going. Five through only. Yeah, that's what we want. Right, so I'm in the queue for Burger King and you best believe I know what I'm getting. I'm gonna be getting the plant-based vegan royale and I have been gagging to try it. So we're gonna get our stopwatch on um, and we're gonna see how long Mr. Burger King, although there's a big queue, so I'm actually gonna hand break it a neutral. I'm actually perplexed. Am I missing something? Because I thought Burger King was on the like, on its way out. I haven't seen a queue in Burger King for years. This Burger King has more of a queue than the McDonald's. Guys, I don't know whether to get the plant-based Whopper or the Chicken Royale. We've been waiting for quite some time. Hi, how can I help? Hi, please can I get the vegan chicken royale? As a meal or on its own? Um, can I get it as a meal please? What drink would you like? Um, can I get a Capri Sun? Orange or black currant? Uh, black currant please. Anything else? No, that's it, thank you. Card payment only, next one please. Thank, thank you. you. Right guys, that took 24 seconds, so kind of long, and we still have a bit of time to go. Okay, it's been 1 minute 53. Let's see how much longer. Guys, they might be at McDonald's. We're on for 3 minutes 14. Thank you, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Flip, she was so flipping nice. Gosh, what are all these cars out and about for today? What's going on? I'm so perplexed. Okay, we did that one in 3 minutes 47. So close to McDonald's. They really, oh, I feel bad for them. They really did. They were really close. Also, I haven't had a Capri Sun in years and I'm kind of into it. Nothing artificial. Yeah, right. They just taste like water. They've changed that. What the heck? It tastes like flipping. That is not delicious. That is different. Okay, let's give the Burger King a go. In here, we have the Vegan Royale. Always give a Burger King chip a try. They're actually exceedingly pleasant. Mmm, kind of into that. Here we have the vegan. Oh, it looks good. Wow, okay, Burger King, I see what you're doing. Maybe this is why there was such a queue. That is so good. Do you know what? That is so much better than the KFC one. It kind of tastes a bit more like, it tastes a bit more chickeny but it does taste a bit more like fried. Do you know what I mean? You know what, this is really good. Burger King, I know why you had a queue now because you're actually doing bits. I'll let them have it. And now, the last place that we're going to is KFC. So who's not gonna get podium? Okay, we are at KFC. Oh my gosh, this is too much, there's no queue here. I don't know what to do. Hi. Um, please can I get the Twister Wrap meal? Can I have the watermelon and lime refresher? Please. Uh, no, that's it, thank you. Oh, we're trying the new watermelon beverage. 
Okay. I panicked and I had to press the, the lap thing. Oh gosh, collection point. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. I don't know if you are ready to uh, process how quick that was. That was beyond quick. That took, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. One minute 18. What the heck, that was so efficient. Um, I'm actually probably gonna save that for dinner if I'm honest with you, because I am stuffed. And I've got the twister wrap, whatever that means, but I do wanna try this. This is the new drink that everyone's been banging on about. This is the watermelon refresher. And I think if it's anything like the Starbucks drinks, I'm going to be on board with it. I am fully aware that that was the most foolish thing to say because obviously it's a KFC drink, not a Starbucks drink. But I was going off of the fact that cool lime refresher and this one's called a water and lime refresher. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it would taste similar because it's got the word refresher in it. Idiot. And apparently, news, the cool lime refresher is coming to Starbucks. If you've ever watched any one of my videos, I've probably mentioned how much I love the Cool Lime Refresher and how it is the love of my life. Um, and they stopped doing it years ago and they're bringing it back and they're bringing the pink drink and I'm so excited. Okay, let's give this, this looks really nice. Let's give it a go. Sorry, I'm really dramatic, I'm aware. But I did not know that I was gonna be fizzy. I don't know why I didn't put the two together. I think because the word refresher to me insinuates it's gonna be like the Starbucks drink. And I hate fizzy, it hurts the throat. Okay, I'm a drama queen, I get it. But it is so prickly, I don't get, I just have a very delicate throat. Um, it doesn't even taste of watermelon. Let's try this twister wrap. Let's just see what's happening. Oh, look, it's even twisted at the top. Is that why it's called a twister wrap? Let's just give it a go. It's nothing special. I feel compelled to drink this again. It just looks so pretty, but Hang on, let's try again. That has got no flavour whatsoever. I'm just gonna stick to my hemp water bottle. Guys, if you've made it this far into the video, you can get a second Grax Gold Star because I did this the other day when right until the end, some of you stuck around and you got to see the egg waffle. Um, and what we've done is I'm out filming a video on the day that this has been posted, so on Thursday, I just, come past a Starbucks drive-thru. So we can do the test. We can see how quick Starbucks drive-thru is. So I'm very excited. Um, I don't know what to order though, because obviously we have to get a meal. And so I think I might go for a tomato mozzarella panini and see how that compares. Starbucks drive-thru, I've never been through a Starbucks drive-thru before. Hello, I'm like, I'm Starbucks, what can I get today? Um, hi, please can I get a tomato mozzarella panini? Of course. And can I also get a small peach iced tea? Of course, anything else? No, that's it, thank you. Thank you very much. 22 seconds, I'm really intrigued how they're gonna do. I'm also intrigued, I've never had the Starbucks mozzarella panini and obviously for me the Costa one is kind of elite, so we'll see. Stopwatch, three minutes 15, so they've definitely lost against the old KFC, they're not reigning supreme. They've lost against McDonald's, so the thing is, right, are they gonna beat Costa? And the thing is they're kind of rivals, Costa and Starbucks. Costa was for, okay, it's my time to shine. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thanks, have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Right, let's go and park up, shall we? Honestly guys, 10 out of 10, if you've made it this far, Starbucks lost by miles. Five minutes, two. Um, but we've got the, this looks fun, this peach iced tea. This looks like something, oh my gosh, summer vibes. Let's try it delicious oh my gosh how have i never tried this before mm, so into that that's really good okay and then we've got our mozzarella panini oh it's hot oh my gosh it smells good okay let's see if it's better than the costa one mm, mm, it's very close this one tastes more pesto -y, has more flavor but then the bread's a bit tougher and this one's a bit less cheesy i do love a tomato mozzarella pesto panini there's just something about them I'm so glad we got to go to Starbucks and test it out. And we can now say that Starbucks is the slowest drive through I feel like I need to do this again to get an overall average score. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed filming it. I love you all more than you will ever know. Like ever in a million, million, million years. I'm so grateful for you. You are valued. You are welcome here. And I hope you have a good, good evening. Or 
It depends when you're watching this, isn't it? I don't know. Um, but tell me what you have for lunch or dinner or breakfast. What's your highlight meal of the day? Do tell. Let's see in the comments. I'm really intrigued. Okay, bye.